Saitagarbha Sanskrit, Saitagarbha Chinese, Dekang Pinyin, Dezang, Japanese, Dezang Romaji, Jizo, Korean, Jijong Dekang Romaja, Jijong, Vietnamese, Dia Tang is a bodhisattva primarily revered in East Asian Buddhism and usually depicted as a Buddhist monk. His name may be translated as, Earth Treasury, Earth Store, Earth Matrix, or Earth Womb. Saitagarbha is known for his vow to take responsibility for the instruction of all beings in the six worlds between the death of Gautama Buddha and the rise of Maitreya, as well as his vow not to achieve Buddhahood until all hells are emptied. He is therefore often regarded as the bodhisattva of hell beings, as well as the guardian of children and patron deity of deceased children and aborted fetuses in Japanese culture, where he is known as Jizo or Ojizo-sama. Usually depicted as a monk with a halo around his shaved head, he carries a staff to force open the gates of hell and a wish-fulfilling jewel to light up the darkness. Topic. Overview Saitagarbha is one of the four principal bodhisattvas in East Asian Mahayana Buddhism. The others are Samantabhadra, Manjushri, and Avalokiteshvara. At the pre-Tang dynasty grottoes in Dunhuang and Longmen, he is depicted in a classical bodhisattva form. After the Tang, he became increasingly depicted as a monk carrying Buddhist prayer beads and a staff. His full name in Chinese is Daewon Dezang Pusa Chinese, Da Yuan De Kang Pu Sa Pinyin, Daewon Dezang Pusa, or Bodhisattva King Saitagarbha of the Great Vow pronounced Daigen Jizo Bosatsu in Japanese and Jijong Bozal in Korean. This name is a reference to his pledge, as recorded in the sutras, to take responsibility for the instruction of all beings in the six worlds in the era between the Parinirvana of the Buddha and the rise of Maitreya. Because of this important role, shrines to Saitagarbha often occupy a central role in temples, especially within the memorial halls or mausoleums. Topic. Sources Topic. As a Brahmin maiden The story of Saitagarbha was first described in the Saitagarbha Bodhisattva Pravapradhana Sutra, one of the most popular Mahayana sutras. This sutra is said to have been spoken by the Buddha towards the end of his life to the beings of the Trayastramsa heaven as a mark of gratitude and remembrance for his beloved mother, Maya. The Saitagarbha Bodhisattva Pravapradhana Sutra begins, Thus have I heard. Once the Buddha was abiding in Trayastramsa's heaven in order to expound the Dharma to his mother. The Saitagarbha Bodhisattva Pravapradhana Sutra was first translated from Sanskrit into Chinese between 695–700 CE, during the Tang dynasty, by the Tripitaka master Sikhsananda, a Buddhist monk from Khotan who also provided a new translation of the Avatamsaka Sutra and the Lankavatara Sutra. However, some scholars have suspected that instead of being translated, this text may have originated in China, since no Sanskrit manuscripts of this text have been found. Part of the reason for suspicion is that the text advocates filial piety, which was stereotypically associated with Chinese culture. It stated that Saitagarbha practiced filial piety as a mortal, which eventually led to making great vows to save all sentient beings. Since then, other scholars such as Gregory Chopin have pointed out that Indian Buddhism also had traditions of filial piety. Currently there is no definitive evidence indicating either an Indian or Chinese origin for the text. In the Saitagarbha Sutra, the Buddha states that in the distant past eons, Saitagarbha was a maiden of the Brahmin caste by the name of Sacred Girl. This maiden was deeply troubled upon the death of her mother, who had often been slanderous towards the Three Jewels. To save her mother from the great tortures of hell, the girl sold whatever she had and used the money to buy offerings that she offered daily to the Buddha of her time, known as the Buddha of the Flower of Meditation and Enlightenment. She prayed fervently that her mother be spared the pains of hell and appealed to the Buddha for help. While she was pleading for help at the temple, she heard the Buddha telling her to go home, sit down, and recite his name if she wanted to know where her mother was. She did as she was told and her consciousness was transported to a hell realm, where she met a guardian who informed her that through her fervent prayers and pious offerings, her mother had accumulated much merit and had already ascended to heaven. 
Sacred Girl was greatly relieved and would have been extremely happy, but the sight of the suffering she had seen in Hell touched her heart. She vowed to do her best to relieve beings of their suffering in her future lives for Kalpas. As a Buddhist monk There is a legend about how Saitagarbha manifested himself in China and chose his Bodhimanda to be Mount Zhuha, one of the four sacred mountains of China. During the reign of Emperor Ming of Han, Buddhism started to flourish, reaching its peak in the Tang and eventually spreading to Korea. At the time, monks and scholars arrived from those countries to seek the Dharma in China. One of these pilgrims was a former prince from Silla named Kim Gyo Gak, who became a monk under the Chinese name Dezang. Saitagarbha, pronounced Jijong in Korean. He went to Mount Juha in present-day Anhui. After ascending, he decided to build a hut in a deep mountain area so that he could cultivate the Dharma. According to records, Jijong was bitten by a poisonous snake but he did not move, thus letting the snake go. A woman happened to pass by and gave the monk medicines to cure him of the venom, as well as a spring on her son's behalf. For a few years, Jijong continued to meditate in his hut, until one day, a scholar named Chu Ke led a group of friends and family to visit the mountain. Noticing the monk meditating in the hut, they went and took a look at his condition. They had noticed that his bowl did not contain any food, and that his hair had grown back. Taking pity on the monk, Chu Ke decided to build a temple as an offering to him. The whole group descended the mountain immediately to discuss plans to build the temple. Mount Juha was also property of a wealthy person called Elder Wen K, who obliged to build a temple on his mountain. Therefore, Wen K and the group ascended the mountain once more and asked Jijong how much land he needed. Jijong replied that he needed a piece of land that could be covered fully by his kasaya. Initially believing that a piece of sash could not provide enough land to build a temple, they were surprised when Jijong threw the kasaya in the air, and the robe expanded in size, covering the entire mountain. Elder Wen K had then decided to renounce the entire mountain to Jijong, and became his protector. Sometime later, Wen K's son also left secular life to become a monk. Jijong lived in Mount Juha for 75 years before passing away at the age of 99. Three years after his nirvana, his tomb was opened, only to reveal that the body had not decayed. Because Jijong led his wayplace with much difficulty, most people had the intuition to believe that he was indeed an incarnation of Saitagarbha. Jijong's well-preserved, dehydrated body may still be viewed today at the monastery he built on Mount Juha. Topic. Iconography. Topic. Traditional iconography In Buddhist iconography, Saitagarbha is typically depicted with a shaven head, dressed in a monk's simple robes unlike most other bodhisattvas, who are dressed like Indian royalty. In his left hand, Saitagarbha holds a sintamani, in his right hand, he holds a staff called shikuho shi jong in Japanese, which is used to alert insects and small animals of his approach, so that he will not accidentally harm them. This staff is traditionally carried by Buddhist monks. In the Chinese tradition, Saitagarbha is sometimes depicted wearing a crown like the one worn by Virokana. His image is similar to that of the fictional character Tang Sanzang from the classical novel Journey to the West, so observers sometimes mistake Saitagarbha for the latter. Like other bodhisattvas, Saitagarbha usually is seen standing on a lotus base, symbolizing his release from rebirth. Saitagarbha's face and head are also idealized, featuring the third eye, elongated ears and the other standard attributes of a Buddha. Topic. Iconography in Japan Tosenji in Katsushika, Tokyo, contains the bound jizo of Uka Tadasuke fame, dating from the Edo period. When petitions are requested before Jizo, the petitioner ties a rope about the statue. When the wish is granted, the petitioner unties the rope. At the new year, the ropes of the ungranted wishes are cut by the temple priest. The vandalism of a Jizo statue is the central theme of The Locker, a 2004 Japanese horror and thriller film directed by Kei Hori. Topic. 
Topic: Saitagarbha as Lord of the Six Ways. Another category of iconographic depiction is Saitagarbha as the Lord of the Six Ways, an allegorical representation of the six paths of rebirth of the desire realm, rebirth into hell, or as pratas, animals, asuras, men, and devas. The six paths are often depicted as six rays or beams radiating from the bodhisattva and accompanied by figurative representations of the six paths. Many of these depictions in China can be found in Shaanxi province, perhaps a result of Sanji Zhao worship in the area. A Japanese variation of this depiction is the six jizo, six full sculptural manifestations of the bodhisattva. An example of this can be found in Kanjikido, the Hall of Gold, in the Chusenji Temple. Topic. In Buddhist traditions Topic. In China Mount Juha in Anhui is regarded as Saitagarbha's Bodhimanda. It is one of the four sacred Buddhism mountains in China, and at one time housed more than 300 temples. Today, 95 of these are open to the public. The mountain is a popular destination for pilgrims offering dedications to Saitagarbha. In some areas, the admixture of traditional religions has led to Saitagarbha being also regarded as a Taoist deity, albeit his duties differ to what Saitagarbha does. In Japan In Japan, Saitagarbha, known as Jizo, or respectfully as Ojizo-sama, is one of the most loved of all Japanese divinities. His statues are a common sight, especially by roadsides and in graveyards. Traditionally, he is seen as the guardian of children, and in particular, children who died before their parents. He has been worshipped as the guardian of the souls of Mizuko, the souls of stillborn, miscarried, or aborted fetuses in the ritual of Mizuko Kuyo. Shui zi gong offering to water children. In Japanese mythology, it is said that the souls of children who die before their parents are unable to cross the mythical Sanzu River on their way to the afterlife because they have not had the chance to accumulate enough good deeds and because they have made the parents suffer. It is believed that Jizo saves these souls from having to pile stones eternally on the bank of the river as penance, by hiding them from demons in his robe, and letting them hear mantras. Jizo statues are sometimes accompanied by a little pile of stones and pebbles, put there by people in the hope that it would shorten the time children have to suffer in the underworld. The act is derived from the tradition of building stupas as an act of merit making. The statues can sometimes be seen wearing tiny children's clothing or bibs, or with toys, put there by grieving parents to help their lost ones and hoping that Jizo would specially protect them. Sometimes the offerings are put there by parents to thank Jizo for saving their children from a serious illness. His features are commonly made more baby like to resemble the children he protects. As Jizo is seen as the savior of souls who have to suffer in the underworld, his statues are common in cemeteries. He is also believed to be one of the protective deities of travelers. The Dosojin, and roadside statues of Jizo are a common sight in Japan. Firefighters are also believed to be under his protection. Topic in Southeast Asia In Theravada Buddhism, the story of a bhikkhu named Phra Malai with similar qualities to Saitagarbha is well known throughout Southeast Asia, especially in Thailand and Laos. Legend has it that he was an arhat from Sri Lanka who achieved great supernatural powers through his own merit and meditation. He is also honored as a successor to Mahamagalana, the Buddha's disciple foremost for his supernatural attainments. In the story, this pious and compassionate monk descends to hell to give teachings and comfort the suffering hell beings there. He also learns how the hell beings are punished according to their sins in the different hells. Topic. Mantra In Shingon Buddhism and other schools of Chinese esoteric Buddhism, the mantra of Saitagarbha comes from the Treasury of Mantras, section of the Mahavarokana Tantra. The effect of this mantra is producing the Samadhi realm of adamantine indestructible conduct. Quote, this mantra is the following Nama Samantabuddhanam, ha ha ha, Satanusvaha 
Chinese, Weng Ha 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 Wen San Mo De Suo Ha Weng Ha 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 Wen San Mo De Suo Ha Pinyin, Weng Ha 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 Wen San Mo De Suo Ha Other mantras Mantra of eliminating fixed karma, Om Pramardain Svaha Om Pramardain Svaha in Chinese, this mantra is called Mie Ding Yi Jun Yan, Mie Ding Yi Jian Yan, Mie Ding Yi Jian Yan in Pinyin. It reads Chinese, Weng Bo Luo Mo Lin Tuo Ning Suo Po He, Weng Bo Luo Mo Lin Tuo Ning Suo Po He, Pinyin, Weng Bo La Mo Lin Tuo Ning Suo Po He. Chinese Buddhism, the following mantra is associated with Saitagarbha. Chinese, Nan Wu De Kang Wang Pu Sa Nan Wu De Kang Wang Pu Sa Pinyin, Namo De Zhang Wang Pu Sa. In Korean Buddhism, the following mantra is associated with Saitagarbha, Namo Jijong Bozal. In Tibetan Buddhism, the following mantra is associated with Saitagarbha Shocked Face, M Saitagarbha Bodhisattva Ya. In Shingon Buddhism, a mantra used in public religious services is, On Kakaka Bisan Mai Soaka On Kakaka Bisan Mai Soaka. In Sanskrit, Om Ha 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 Visme Svaha Om Ha 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 Visme Svaha Om Ha ha ha! O oh, wondrous one! Svaha! Topic haiku and senryu falling freely tears and rain on the garden jizo ananim asterisk 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 kuo yu ni ko wo shi warada shi de zang nemuji nik Kuchi o suwerteshi jizo the stone image of jizo kissed on the mouth by a slug part of a senryu asterisk 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 k no z de zang no shu nikakurakari su Zume no Kojizo no Soda Nikakurakari the young sparrows return into Jizo's sleeve for sanctuary Haiku by Isa 1814 Asterisk 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 Natashikoya de Zang Pu Sa no Ji Xian ni Natashiko Yajizo Bosatsu Noedo Sake ni Blooming pinks Behind and in front of Saint Jizo Haiku by Isa Asterisk 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 Chu no Myushi no de Zang ni Yu Sasu Aki no Kuretsuji no Jizo Nyabura Sasu. In autumn dusk, at the wayside shrine for the Jizo image, I pour more votive oil. Haiku by Busan. Topic. In works of Lafcadio Hearn. The Legend of the Humming of the Sai no Kawara, by Lafcadio Hearn. But lo, the teacher Jizo appears. All gently he comes, and says to the weeping infants, Be not afraid, dears. Be never fearful. Poor little souls, your lives were brief indeed. Too soon you were forced to make the weary journey to the Mido. The long journey to the region of the dead. Trust to me. I am your father and mother in the Mido. Father of all children in the region of the dead. And he folds the skirt of his shining robe about them. So graciously takes he pity on the infants. To those who cannot walk he stretches forth his strong shakuho. And he pets the little ones, caresses them, takes them to his loving bosom. So graciously he takes pity on the infants. 
Namo Jizo Bosatsu. Topic in popular culture. In Super Mario Bros. 3, the Tanuki Suit power up enables the player to temporarily transform into a stone statue of Saitagarbha. These Jizo statues appear once more, under that name, in Super Mario Odyssey, where they look very similar to the form Mario received when he utilized the Tanuki Suit's transformation. Topic. See also Mizuko Kuyo Butsu Zone, a manga in which Saitagarbha is a main character Akasagarbha Intercession Intercession of Christ Harrowing of Hell Christianity.